Hey there everyone, and welcome to Bill's Retro Gaming Show. On today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest updates from At Games for their Gottlieb pinball tables on the original ALPHD. That's all coming up right after this. All right, everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscription button. Click the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I put up a new video. Give this one a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to be part of the conversation. So yesterday evening, late afternoon, depending on, I guess, your time frame, At Games sent out a note that they were updating the Gottlieb HD pinball packs on the original ALPHD. Now, I believe they've put patches out for this before for the ALU, maybe for the, the mini pinball, but now they've got it ready for the original ALPHD, and they've made a bunch of improvements to the Gottlieb tables. I'm going to show you how you can download it and take a look at some of the improvements. Let's start just by going real quick over the release notes that At Games has put out. All right, everyone, so I will have a link to this in the description below, but if you go to the At Games site, that's atgames.net, not atgames.us. Atgames.us is where you can purchase products. Atgames.net is where they have all you know their information on their products and things like that. So if you go there, and you go to support and you go to release notes, that's where you'll get to uh, the list of the release notes. The latest one is at the top. That's this one for the Gottlieb pinball table update for Legends uh, Pinball HP. And here's what they have to say. Uh, in this release, the new app Gottlieb Pinball HD update in the app X store on your Legends Pinball HD uh, contains the latest improvements and fixes for all 22 built-in Gottlieb HD pinball tables. After downloading and installing this game pack from AppX, your built-in uh, Gottlieb HD pinball tables on your Legends Pinball HD device will be up to date. Uh, note that this will replace the 22 uh, built-in pinball tables on your device with the upgraded versions. No high score um, or data will be lost. It says other Legends HD devices will not find this update pack in uh, its AppX store. So this particular one that they put out, again, just for the ALPHD. And here's what they say the improvements are. Uh, new ball design and animation, button mapping improvements. The Gladiator lamps are now operational. Back glass display improvements. Uh, fixed glitch when the goal sign pops up. Fixed plunger in some games where a plunger displays over the ball instead of at the uh, end of the plunger touching the ball. Performance improvements to some tables and other minor improvements and fixes. Blah, blah, blah. And of course, there are some, uh, there's always going to be issues. There are some known issues here. So if I click on this, that'll get us to the known issues. So moving over to here, this is a list of known issues that they're still working on. They do say that they've tested this up to firmware 5.70 on it. So if you're up to the latest firmware, everything should be fine for the most part. Um, to say some pinball packs are unplayable in top pro button mode uh, as they're improperly key mapped in arcade net uh, app x store firmware may show multiple sides of the quad player successfully so this is um i would guess this is more for the alu if you've got quad play so i don't think that this is um these known issues are necessarily just related to the gotly pinball packs i think these are known issues overall across a bunch of their products that they're working on which is why i'm not going to go through this whole thing um if you're concerned about it, uh, you know, if you're on the ALU and you've got quad play, if you use the bit LCD or um, voice chat applications may have difficulty creating or joining a chat, live streaming. Um, I don't know how much of this um, when, I, when a track mode is running for a lengthy amount of time, it may cause the main screen to display a no signal message. So, you know, there's a few things here as it relates to the pinball HD. If you're concerned uh, that this may affect something that you do specifically for your HD. I would definitely recommend you run through these known issues before you do the update, just in case so you know you know what to expect. But let's move on, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your Gottlieb packs on your ALP HD, and then show off a little bit of gameplay from a couple of the tables. All right, so I recorded this with my camera up over my 
uh, ALPHD. So you can see what you're going to do, want to do here is you're going to want to make sure you're signed in and you're going to scroll over to the App X store. This is just on the machine on the App X store. It's not going to be on any other machines. So you want to make sure that you're on there. You're going to scroll over and get to the Gottlieb update. For me, it was on page three. You can see where it is. And then clicking into it, uh, they will give you all the information. This HD pack contains the latest improvements. A lot of the same stuff that I already read on the release notes. Now, one thing they do say here is that they do recommend you are at the latest firmware, 5.70. I will tell you that I am not. My firmware is still at the 5.68. I did not update it um, because of some of the issues with coin ops and, and different things that they had. I didn't want to update mine, but you'll see you know, that yeah, I can still update and the games do appear to play fine. So if you're back uh, a couple of firmware versions, you might be okay. I don't know how far back, but again, I'm at 5.68 when I did this. So I am going to hit start here and I'm gonna let it download and let it do the update. So this is gonna come up, uh, Gottlieb Pinball HD update requires 2903 megabytes of free space to install. I do not have a flash X drive. I've got the 1.2. Uh, HD uh, machine so uh, it's got a little bit more internal room so I'm just gonna let this go to internal storage and it's gonna take a couple of minutes to download and do the install and then we'll be good to go all right application installed and we're ready to play now one thing real quick I wanted to show off is some of the settings in the games. Um, I'm going to be honest, I, I haven't really compared this to what it was before, so I don't know what's really changed, although they did say they changed the ball animations, and if you go to the settings for ball optimization, you can get uh, it set to default, new, or optimized. Now I'm going to check out Haunted Mansion here, and I'm setting the ball to optimized, and we'll see uh, how that looks. Alright, so this is just showing off a little bit of gameplay for Haunted Mansion. Um, so I've got the sound turned down on the, the pinball when I was playing, uh, just because <laughs> some people, I'm doing this early in the morning, some people are still asleep in my house, I didn't want to be making a lot of noise. So uh, you might not be able to hear the sound of the pinball coming across very well, but it doesn't really matter. The point I'm trying to make is just the way that it looks. Um, again, I don't know that I noticed a huge difference, but you know, if they've made some improvements, that's great. Uh, the ball certainly looks good. It's certainly easy to follow, uh, set to optimized. And, um, as always, I had a lot of fun playing this particular table. I think it looks good. I'm not noticing, you know, any problems with it at all. Uh, like I said, even being back on the firmware. Now, one thing I did notice, which seemed a little weird to me now it's not coming across on the video is when I first load up some of these new Gottlieb tables the back glass just turns red for a second before the game loads up and then you get the regular back glass of what it's supposed to look like again I, I, I maybe maybe I'm wrong here maybe it always did that but I don't remember it actually doing that before I don't think it's a big deal um, but if it uh, if you if it's something you notice and it concerns you, just know that I think it's fine. Uh, it just like I said, it just it turned red for a second, and then the main back glass came on as the game was loading. All right, and just real quick, just to show off gameplay from another game, real quick. This is Genie, and here I have the ball set to new, not optimized. And I don't know if I noticed uh, a huge difference between the two, but um, the ball definitely looks, you know, doesn't look flat. It looks, you know, more like it's it's uh, 3D, it's rolling a little bit better. So I do like some of the new options. I guess, you know, play around with them, decide which look you like. You can set it individually for each table. It's not a, an overall general setting across all tables. It's an individual setting for each table. So that's something you could definitely check out. But look, overall... You know, the updated tables seem to play fine. All right, everyone, there you go. That is just a quick look at the upgrade to the Gottlieb pinball tables for the At Games ALPHD. Now, it is good to know that they are continuing to support the HD, that they're continuing to put out updates with all the talk and focus on the ALP 4K that's going to be coming out by the end of this year. 
again, it's nice to know that for those of us who have the original, who don't plan on upgrading just yet, that they are continuing to work on it and make improvements. Hopefully it's a sign that they will continue to do that in the future and will continue to get more updates as they make changes. But as you saw, you know, the upgrade process is definitely easy to do, very painless. Just go over to the App X store, click on the HD update and let it do its thing and you'll be good to go. But I think that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a like. Leave me a comment below on your thoughts. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you on the next one. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care.